guys, we're going to talk about cases. You know how expensive they are, and you also know how handy they are for overlanding, camping, putting your gear in, tools, just you name it, camera gear, there's all kinds of uses for these cases. And I've had this Plano case for a long time, and uh, you can see I got some Onyx off-road stickers on there. And I, I really like this case because of the, the lockable handles and stuff. It's pretty big. It's got wheels on one end, so in my Jeep Grand Cherokee, I can slide it in the back and roll it out. Set it on the ground if I need to, use it as a tabletop. You know, I've just got some normal gear stuff in there. It's not filled yet. Uh, and you flip this lid upside down, and it'll stack like that if you want to throw some stuff in here. Uh, pieces of firewood or something like that. You know, it ain't going nowhere. But that's not, this case is not what this video is about. I just, I'm using it to kind of like a tabletop, which another use for these cases. You can also lock these. And this isn't too overly expensive. Now I've got a Plano case on top of the Jeep, a uh, rifle case that I use to put my uh, chairs and tents, stuff like that in the small tents. Uh, you know, it's yay thick and it, it does pretty good. But anyway, like I said, this case isn't what this video is about. This case is what this video is about. Now, uh, the price on these is $29.98. I got this at Home Depot and they are on sale for $24.98, so right at 25 bucks. So I ran up there and I got one. One, I need something that's a little more protective for my camera gear. Uh, my camera gear has increased over the years and uh, I felt like it was time to get it all in one space protected. So these have heavy duty latches They also have a rubber, nice thick rubber seal all the way around the lid. Comes with, what's this book here? Y'all are seeing this for the first time with me. They come with different size. Pretty thick plastic. Feel like they're going to be durable. There's places you can put a uh, padlock to lock it up. This metal bar is really heavy. Nice sturdy click. You heard it snap into place. Extra support on the bottom. Little feet. Heavy duty carry handle. Nice steel pin going through a nice thick plastic hinge. And not only are these a good price right now, you know, that's like five bucks off, seven bucks off, you know, $29.98, and they're on sale for $24.98. So five bucks. And they're stackable. These little things here make them stackable. So, like I was saying, not only are they a good price, what good is it to have a stackable case if you don't have nothing to stack on it? So, I had to get two. There they are. Snapped into place. Not going anywhere. If you have a stackable case, you need something to work with it that snaps in. I think that is an excellent excuse to buy a second case, maybe a third case, maybe a fourth, fourth case, maybe a fourth case. Uh, at least that's what I'm going to tell my wife, because she knew I was going to go get a case. But I wanted to show the stackable feature, and you just reach under, find that little, this handle, they, okay, you push them down, I think. Uh, you pull them up. Okay, I see. There's 
these handles that you pull. I'm trying to find exactly how they Okay, so you can push them down or there's handles underneath here that you pull up. Can you see those? So this one, the first one I got here, this is the one I'm gonna put camera gear in. Now when I bought my Plano case, for the roof out there that's out there now, it had a bunch of foam in it to protect your rifles. And I saved that foam because I knew eventually I was gonna do this and I'm gonna be able to cut out for my lenses and my cameras and stuff to place in here. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this thing built for my cameras. But it is a uh, very cool lifetime warranty integrated accessory rail oh, I didn't even see that it's got a rail right here it's got little ridges in it it's got holes where you clip stuff recessed work surface rugged metal latches and hinge parts heavy duty Polymer construction, IP65, protection rating, impact resistant, dual locking for stacking. I'm just, I'm really pleased. 25 bucks for that case. Y'all know how high cases are, especially Pelican and stuff like that. This is a deal for 25 bucks. So let me get my phone and Let's make this a camera case. Oh yeah, it's sturdy. So the first thing I want to work with is my Canon camera. This is the phone that came with that Plano case. And this is also a really good case. I pulled this one out of the top so you see the glue that they had glued in with. And then this one here actually has cuts in it to where you can pop them out for whatever you need to put in there. And this is the one I'm going to try to put in the bottom first and see how it works. Because I don't know about thicknesses and how all this is going to work. But in this camera, I've had this thing a long time now, but it's not very protected. You can see my lenses are just laying in there. One of them still on the camera, and you got to dig to find stuff. So I'm hoping this is going to straighten that out. There is a little indention here where the handles are for the stackable stuff. So I'm going to have to cut this foam out around those handles. So I'm not gonna bore y'all with me cutting on the foam. I, I got a serrated knife and a pair of scissors, whichever works best. Razor blade probably isn't the best. But anyway, I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna cut it out to size to fit in the bottom of this box. And then I'm gonna place the camera stuff on top and see where the best places to cut out for those to slide in there is gonna be. Okay, so you can see, uh, Got that cut out and put in there. Now you gotta remember these had punch lines to where you could take pieces out. So, you know, it's not perfect. And I didn't cut out around the back. I just shoved it in there. And that's gonna work just fine. Now let's, I'm gonna place the camera stuff in there, figure out where I'm gonna cut out, and then we'll put the gear in. So I got everything cut out as best I could. Some of the pre Preparated squares that they had in there really uh, wasn't in the right position. I honestly think if I had a solid piece, I could have got it to come out a little bit better. But for now, uh, it's going to hold everything in its place. I have another piece. I may have to make it thinner, but I'm going to try to lay it over the top of this. 
just to kind of keep everything in its spot when it's shut. And when I want to get something, I can just, you know, move it aside. But everything's in there. Uh, there's three action cameras and my Canon with the bigger lens over here. All my battery chargers, flashes, a few more lenses over here. And then this has cleaner, this bag over here has cleaner and stuff. I figure I can just kind of throw it in there. But that... It's going to work out great. Alright, so I finished what I was going to do with this case. And I put some Gorilla Glue on the lid inside. I'm hoping that it's going to hold this. And I think it is. And I had to modify it a little bit. The camera set up a little bit higher than the rest of the stuff, so I just... It don't look real good, but I chopped out a lot of this so it would fit better. And uh, there it is. All my cameras, gear, the GoPro, action cameras, all in one place and protected. And I get me a lock. I can actually lock this case. Let that glue dry real good. But there it is. That is an awesome camera case nothing's going to be bouncing around or moving and it's not real big so it's not going to take up the whole it's not going to take up any more space than other stuff now i got the second one what would y'all do with it what would you put in it i have some ideas it could be a mobile kitchen put all your cookware and silverware and plates and stuff like that in it it keep them from getting dusty and wet you can put recovery gear in you can put your tools in it if you had a second case after you got the first one for your camera gear what would you put in it what would you use this case for and something else i saw another guy online <sighs> He mounted these to his side rack. Just sit here. I don't know how to do this. Squeezing up. This is turn this back around. He mounted these to his side rack. To the bottom, bolted it to his truck rail. You know, the rack you put your rooftop tent on, setting up like that. And he used it for his gear. So another idea. There it is. I'm really happy with that though for camera case. I feel better about my stuff being more protected. A little more insulated. Not going to be bouncing around. Kicked around. I love it. I don't know how long they're going to be on sale. Five dollars off a case, pretty good deal. Y'all need to go get them. Get them now. Thanks for watching. If you haven't, subscribe, subscribe.